Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to plot multiple lines on same graph from same data set in SSRS report. We'll create our data set, then we'll add a line chart to our report, and then we'll plot multiple lines on single line chart, and then we'll adjust the position of data labels for multiple lines. So let me show you the data I'm going to use here. So I have a DBO line chart table here that has uh, three columns. It has country, item sold, and items bought. So in this case, this very simple data set, one thing I would like to tell you, one of the category, you have to have common here. And then the rest of those values can be there that you want to uh, use on the lines. Now here, uh, let's uh, go and uh, go ahead and Think about other scenarios such as uh, let's say I have a countries uh, then I have a quarter one data and I have a quarter two data and I have quarter three and quarter four data that's also possibility so you have one common category and then uh, you have quarterly data or uh, you have uh, maybe country here and you have month uh, January February March and April and you have sale for those uh, different uh, uh, months uh, for these different countries uh, so these all can be plot uh, on a single uh, a line chart with multiple lines now let's take this one and create a report and see how it will look like now go to the ssdt sql server data tools and create a new report so here we are going to go to the reports right click and say add new item select the report and we are going to say it multi line line chart and now click add and uh, click on uh, data sources right click add data source uh, let's give some proper name let's call this one ds sales and now go to the use shared data source reference um, i have created a shared data source already so that's why i'm using it if you haven't you go you can go ahead and create one in the project uh, shared data source is great uh, when you are creating multiple uh, reports from same database uh, so hit okay now Click on the data sets, add data set, and here provide the name. Let's call this one D set sale or sales. And then you select the data source and provide your query here. So we have three columns country and the items bought and items sold in those countries. Hit OK. Click on the design surface, go to insert, and then go to the chart. And here we have different type of charts available. We are interested in the line chart. So click on the line and then you can select any of them. Let's click the very basic one and then we can play with others. So now hit OK. Let's make this one a little big so we can see the things. Double click here. And now, first of all, we will be providing the values. And we know that item sold or item bought are our values. Those one we would like to display. So let's start with the one item sold. And then uh, what we want to do, we want to have categories uh, here on X axis. Uh, that's uh, our country. As of now, I have only used uh, one uh, field here. So it is called item sold. Let's uh, preview our report. So this is how our report will uh, look like. So th this is the uh, item sold. And uh, we see that uh, the, these are like uh, uh, for France, uh, they started from here. I can't see the number here. So I can go ahead and actually put the data labels here. Now I right click here and say show data labels and then preview the report. So you can see that in France we sold 17 items and in Germany we sold two items and India seven and for Pakistan we sold three items and USA 11 items. So this is great but we would like to put other fields as lines as well. So let's go back here in the design and then click add button one more time in the values and select other values so we have items of bought now this is great this looks in a different color and now we have to do the same thing for this line once we preview the report as of now you can see that the blue one was item sold so and we have labeled that all already now we would like to label the other one so let's go to the other one and click on this one and right click and say show data labels now this will uh, display the data labels for the second one. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now we have two lines uh, in the same line chart, uh, one for the item sold and one for items uh, bought. So that's great. This is how you will be able to display. Let's say you have uh, um, 
these regions here and then you have uh, different months uh, you can or a month quarters or years you can display those uh, data so, uh, on the same chart with multiple uh, lines uh, as long as uh, you are using one category that in our case that's a country that's common in your case it has to be same category but uh, different uh, values can be uh, plotted on the same graph as uh, different lines now as you can see here they're merged we can't really tell which one is uh, belong to which so two is on top and three is on bottom so that's not correct so let's go back we can do multiple things here first of all uh, let's click on these uh, data labels on the down one and uh, then go to the f4 press it and here in the position it is auto so I'm going to adjust that one to the bottom. So I would like to see maybe, okay, let's do bottom left, okay, and preview it. Now you can see that these values are coming on bottom, but we have to adjust the other one for the, so for this one, I would like to do, press F4 for the second line and go to position. And here we will do top, Le uh, right let's do top right so they will be not merging with each other and now you can see that the two is coming here and three is here one thing you see still uh, two is coming on top of these uh, lines uh, even we have set uh, for the bottom right uh, or sorry bottom left uh, and uh, still uh, they are not coming correct one thing because there is no space around here if i will change the interval right here this will help uh, so let me go ahead and change the interval so click on uh, this one vertical axis properties and then you go and change the interval instead of auto let's do 20 now we preview the report and you said you can see that okay from 0 to 20 still uh, we don't see that because now we actually increase that interval and now by increasing interval they are more squeezed let me decrease that actually instead of increasing it so how about if I will do okay so now this looks much better we have two four and all that uh, still I don't see that uh, the value is uh, two let me do one and uh, I'm just uh, trying to play with this one and see if I can uh, uh, give some more space uh, here and uh, one now let's see if that helps so now with the one still we see that the lines are divided here but I want more space uh, let me play with this uh, chart a little more and see how about to use a logarithmic, uh, logarithmic scale and if I do that uh, now I have displayed uh, at least uh, I have changed uh, 1 to 10 and 10 to 100 and uh, uh, by doing it uh, I was able to manage uh, to put these values at the correct places so now you see that we have done left and right i'm going to go ahead and one more time and do the center because that will be making more sense so this these types are kind of you will be playing with this one just uh, and the center uh, we we were doing top uh, um, bottom left and just bottom that will take care of that one and for the upper ones uh, let's click on that one and just do the top just do the center as well but uh, top only now we will see them correct okay so two is coming here that's correct uh, item sold and three is here on the top and 17 is coming here and uh, these values are looking great now now everything is coming down here for the item sold and all those uh, uh, data labels are top uh, they belong to the items uh, but so that's how you will be creating multiple lines uh, on single uh, uh, ch line chart. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.